Have you suffered from years of embarrassment due to your spider veins? Do you avoid wearing cute shorts or dresses out of fear of people seeing them and judging you? Are you ashamed for having spider veins at such a young age? Well, stop feeling sorry for yourself and do something about it. Do you suffer from spider veins? I know I do, and I've always wanted to get rid of them. Some of the causes of spider veins are heredity, having an occupation that makes you stand up for long periods of time or even sitting down for long periods of time, crossing your legs, hormones, or birth control. And spider veins occur in two common places, usually the face and on the legs. And they're much more prevalent in women than men. Now, there are a few ways that you can prevent spider veins, such as making sure that you wear compression stockings or if you put sunscreen on your legs to prevent sun damage to the skin, or exercising. Exercising increases blood flow and circulation. But maybe that's not enough, and maybe you need an actual treatment. But if you think about the treatments that are available, they're kind of costly. That might include injections or laser treatments. Now scouring through the internet, there are many do-it-yourself remedies. And I think that there are a couple that are worth trying. So today, I will demonstrate two different remedies that I found on the internet and I will continue them as recommended, and then I will follow up in a month to see the progression. The first remedy I'm going to try is using witch hazel. And all you do is take a cotton ball, soak it up with the witch hazel, and apply two to three times a day. The second remedy that I'll be demonstrating is the use of apple cider vinegar. And all you do is take a cotton ball, soak it in the apple cider vinegar, and then place it on the spider vein for 15 to 20 minutes, and then you'll repeat that two times a day. Okay, so I tried it on both sides, and I'm gonna come back and see how these remedies are working for me. And here is the side with the spider vein where I used witch hazel. I think for this one, still doesn't look like it's done much to it. it kinda still looks the same. So this is the result of using the apple cider vinegar on my spider veins and this is after one month of using the apple cider vinegar so as you can see the results are mm, not much change. It looks the same to me, I don't really notice any differences or seeing it being minimized, it has the same color, the same appearance. So it doesn't look like the witch hazel worked. It still looks the same. I don't really notice any changes in the coloration or um, the veins, so I don't think it's really made much of a difference. So as you can see, the apple cider vinegar and the witch hazel didn't really give me the results that I was looking for. But if you've tried the apple cider vinegar or the witch hazel and you had positive results, please leave a comment and let me know um, what your results have been, um, how long did it take for that to happen, and um, if you're happy with it and used it for various parts of the body, whether it's your legs or face, um, please let me know in the comments. But unfortunately for me, I'm gonna probably have to resort to some clinical treatments in order to actually get rid of these spider veins. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, Give us a comment or give me a thumbs up. Great. Talk to you later.